In today's video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to apply the look that I am wearing. It is called Blur the Lines and it is featured in the Mary Kay Spring 2022 catalog. Let's get into it. I have already done my brows. I have already done my foundation just to have that on for the sake of time. Um, but what I'm going to do first is actually um, apply, and I'm kind of just following uh, down here at the bottom. There's always a description on how to apply the colors that are listed here. So um, Mary Kay Makeup Artists put these colors together and uh, they basically teach us exactly step-by-step -step how to do this. So you always feel empowered, whether it's your beauty consultant, um, check in the lookbook. There's usually a description in the bottom right-hand side that shows you how to do that. So first things first, we're actually going to use a cheek color on our eyes. So yeah, get excited. So these are the colors that we're gonna be using and it is Juicy Peach for the cheek and eye color. We're gonna be using Latte for a little contouring and we're gonna be using Crystalline Eyeshadow and Espresso. And yeah, those are the only colors. It's gonna be absolutely fabulous and easy. So let's jump in. Um, so first of all, I am going to use the Juicy Peach and I am going to actually apply it as a base color on my eyelid. So now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the first eye color, um, highlighter color, and that's called Crystalline. So Crystalline is a beautiful shimmery color. And um, when you're applying shimmers, you want to be a little careful about applying too much shimmer under the brow bone, um, just because, you know, it light can reflect um, and it can reflect in not a good way with the shimmers under the brow bone. So what I'm gonna do is just a little bit along like the upper part of where I just put the um, Juicy Peach. So I don't have a whole lot of color underneath the brow, but it's kind of just right almost in the crease a little bit. So that's all that I'm gonna do with that right now. But uh, the next color we want to put on is Espresso. And so Espresso, is a beautiful color. Now these are Chroma Fusion shadows. So they are life proof, meaning they are going to stay on all day long. And um, they uh, do not crease or anything like that, but they will hold and the colors are very true to color. So what you see is what you get. Um, I do recommend an eye primer, uh, which we carry as well to apply first to your um, uh, eye area. That just kind of helps the um, shadow to stick as well. So that's a great uh, product that we carry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of the espresso and dab it into um, my little applicator here. And I'm kind of tapping it to get the excess off. And I'm just kind of putting it along the edge like this just like that. So kind of just along the edge, just a little bit. And I'm going up just a hair on the side, but we're gonna blend this all out. But this is just to get a little pop of, um, uh, of that contrasting color. And then we're gonna do that on the other side. So yeah, we're gonna get that blended out in just a second, but we're gonna apply that espresso. So you can go as deep as, you know, with the application on the espresso as you want or as light as you want, obviously. Um, just a little bit on the outside. Okay, so that is the espresso. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over with the eye all over eyeshadow brush and I'm going to blend this all out. Okay, so it always comes alive when we have liner and mascara on because that is something I have to have. And for this look, it calls for, let's look into our um, catalog here, it calls for deep brown. So our eyeliners are very soft. They are water resistant, um, smudge proof basically. And what I'm gonna do is, is a technique called um, 
tight lining. And what that is, is basically what you're trying to do is always make your lashes appear longer, right? No matter what we're trying to do, we wanna make those lashes pop. And so this is a little trick to be able to um, uh, create that illusion, right? And so the thicker we can put a pencil or a color closest to the lash line, then the um, the more it's going to create that illusion. And so tight lining is kind of, you're not really going underneath the waterline necessarily on your eyes, but you're trying to get as close to the lash line as possible with the color. So instead of going on top of the eye and putting on your, um, putting on your eyeliner you're kind of going underneath and trying to get up into where the um the eye lashes are Another thing too, if this was something that you wanted to wear kind of into the evening time, then you could also do the liner underneath um, as well on the inside of the lash line on the bottom. And that would definitely make it a little bit more dramatic. Um, but this I'm kind of going for the daytime special fun spring look. Okay, so now we gotta get some mascara on these lashes. So. Uh, Featured with this look is our Ultimate Mascara. We love our Ultimate Mascara. This is our best seller. Um, and in fact, on your Mary Kay personal website, your consultant's website, you will find a list of all of the best sellers that we carry and uh, highly recommend you check that list out. And you're probably using some of those items. Number one is probably this Ultimate Mascara. And so a little trick with the mascara, you want to make sure that you can kind of go side to side and then brush up at the base of the lashes. And so that will also help to create as much length and volume on the lashes themselves. And I put a little bit of that mascara on the bottom lashes. Okie doke. So now let's get our um, cheeks on. Now remember, we use Juicy Peach Cheek Color for our eye um, base shade. And we're actually going to use it again for our cheek color. So talk about simple. Uh, but first, I'm going to use a little bit of this latte as a contour. So I'm tapping on the very edge right here on the uh, cheek color brush that but on the very tip of it or yeah the bottom area there uh, I'm using that to just give a little bit of a um, illusion that my cheeks are thinner than they really are <laughs> yes so I'm just doing like right underneath not on the cheekbone not too low because that's gonna draw the color down um, or draw the eyes down when people look at you, but you want it just in the middle. So just see with that, isn't that amazing what a little tiny bit of contour can do? <laughs> Don't I look like 10 pounds thinner all of a sudden? And then I'm gonna go on kind of the cheekbone right here as kind of like you're just trying to highlight, right? You want just a little pop of color. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, so we're getting there, we're getting there. The last thing we're gonna do is finish up with our lips and this particular look, uh, as I was saying, is a very soft look, so they aren't recommending um, for this makeup artist look a um, lip liner. So we're just gonna go with the lipstick and I'm gonna apply this here. It is called Trademark Pink. It is a um, semi-matte color. So I'm gonna apply this now. Hmm. Okay, so that's the whole look. Well, I hope you found today's tip helpful. If you did, go ahead and give this video a quick thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I am here every week to help you boost your confidence so you can step into your greatness and live your most bold and beautiful life. So thank you for stopping by and I will see you next time.